This Department of Education under the Biden administration is as about as far yeah. left wing as you can imagine. Former Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos ripping the Biden administration for promoting a link to a radical activist group that pushes critical race theory in schools. It comes as some major media outlets are continuing to ignore the story entirely. Here to react, civil rights attorney, former teacher, and Fox News contributor Leo Terrell. Leo, welcome to the program. Thanks for staying up with well, us. Um, let's I'm, face a little ups I'm a little yeah. upset, Todd, Todd and Jillian, because it took me five months to get on Fox and Friends oh. first. But I'm here. Glad heads to be will here. Roll, We've wanted Leo you Terrell. here every day. Lee, heads will roll. We'll talk to people. <laughs> uh, but let's face it. If right. not for Fox, if not for our friends Aisha Hosni, and Lawrence Jones, the Biden Department of Education would have gotten away with this, right? You're absolutely correct. Let's, let's be very clear. The Biden administration got caught. They were lying. And but for the Fox News article this week, Fox, the, the Biden administration was trying to conceal this. And now they're lying about it. it was an error. You cannot believe them. They have tried to put critical race theory in every aspect of government, in the State Department, in the, uh, the military, and definitely in education. We have to call them on this. And thank goodness for Fox News. Well, here's the Department of Education statement to Fox News. This reads, quote, the department does not endorse the recommendations of this group, nor do they reflect our policy positions. It was an error in a lengthy document to include this citation. Leo, you know, with everything that's going on and to see something like this and have them say this was an error, um, obviously a lot of people question whether or not it was truly an error, but how much of a role do you think this topic is going to play in 2022? Oh, there's no, Jillian, there's no question. It's a key component in the 2022 election. And the Democrats are worried because there are families throughout the entire country arguing, raising these issues at local school boards. They're looking at the curriculum. They're looking at the lesson plans. And I guarantee you, critical race theory is a racist theory. And I want to destroy this myth right now. People of all colors, including myself, oppose critical race theory because it's based on a lie. This country was founded on liberty and freedom, and the idea that people are, should be looked at by skin color is insulting to everything that what America stands for. Leo, I think myself, a lot of our viewers get accused of being racist, quite frankly, and that racism accusation comes from a lot of white liberals for being against CRT. 45 seconds to you. What should our response be to those individuals? I'll tell you right now, uh, these, the, the, these white liberals on the Democratic side, they do not speak for America. I think the strategy should be what's going on right now. Families across the country of all colors should challenge this at school board, demand to see the curriculum, demand to see the lesson plan, demand to see the stated objective, to see if this critical race theory is in the school curriculum. If so, challenge it and raise it to a level where people are aware of it. It's going to be a major factor along along with crime in the 2022 election in which the Democrats are going to lose and Nancy Pelosi will be retired. Hey, wow. Leo, we'd love to have you back on more often. Have your people call I, I, our do people. I have to beg, do, do I have to beg, do I have to beg no. to come back on this show? Here's what's going to happen. Okay. We're going to have Mealy strong arm Hannity so make sure that your schedule frees up to make this happen. No, 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 no. No, you don't want to do no. that? All right, we won't do that. No, 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 hey. No, no, I'm not messing around with that. But, Thank you. Uh, you're welcome here anytime. Leo Terrell, good to see you this morning. Thank, Thank you, Jillian. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>